guys, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit more of sleight of hand technique videos now. So, so this video is gonna be all about card forcing. I'm gonna show you three super simple but super awesome card forces that you guys can use anytime, anywhere, any place. They're super, super simple. So, so this is gonna be the performance for the first card force over here. So basically, guys, I'm gonna force you the king of diamonds. So this is what the force looks like. So I'm gonna have the spectator go ahead and cut the deck anywhere they want to. I'm gonna have them place the other half on top, but perpendicular to the other half, so sideways on top, just like this. So keep in mind, guys, the spectator could have cut the deck anywhere they wanted to, um, and they also put the other half on top sideways just to mark the spot where they cut, um, but it doesn't even matter because I already know that you guys cut to the king of diamonds. So that is the performance for the first card force, and now for the tutorial. All right, guys, so although that force might have looked extremely obvious, trust me, guys, this force actually fools spectators in real life because you have to add the element of misdirection as well, and I couldn't really do that in the camera angle that I was doing because the camera was staring at my hands, but I'll teach you guys how to do this force in a real life performance. So let's say you were gonna force the king of diamonds like I did in the performance. So you are actually gonna place your force card here on top of the deck just like this, and now you're ready to go. You're gonna shuffle the deck. You can just keep that card on top just by retaining it with your fingers like this um, if you guys want to do that, but basically just keep the card on top. So now what's gonna happen is this. You're gonna place the deck on the table and you're gonna have the spectator reach over, cut the deck wherever they want to. Roughly in half would be fine. And then you're gonna ask them to take the other half and place it on top of the half that they just cut, but place it on top sideways just like this, just to mark the cut. Now at this point in the trick, you actually have to have them look away from the deck. So you have to look up, look them in the eyes and tell them what just happened. So you have to explain them what just happened, but you have to look them in the eyes when you do this. So they cannot be staring at the deck when you do this or else they're going to see how it's done. So you have to be looking at them in the eyes just like that. And that way the spectator will be completely distracted and they will completely forget which half is which. And they're going to completely forget that this is actually just the top card. And that's pretty much like the entire force right there. So basically you're just forcing the top card by removing this half over here and showing them the card that they freely cut to. But in reality, this is just the top card of the deck. So it's like the easiest force in the entire world, but it's also one of the most fooling. So now for the performance of the second card force. Okay guys, so here's the performance for the second card force. So for this force, I already know you guys are gonna pick the king of diamonds once again. So basically, I'm gonna riffle down the side, you guys can call out stop whenever you want right there, perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and show you the card, and as you guys can see, you stopped right at the king of diamonds. So that is the card force, and now for the tutorial. For this card force, you're actually gonna wanna take your force card and place it on the bottom of the deck. So for this card force, you're gonna be forcing the bottom card. So what's gonna happen is this. So you're gonna actually take the deck and you're gonna bevel it. Now what beveling means is you're kind of moving all the cards in this direction just like this and you're just kind of moving all the cards so that there's like a slant. If you bevel the cards this way you have to move the card in the same direction that the cards are getting beveled in just like this. So move the bottom card to the right and that will make sure that when you go like this when you say call out stop just like this you're actually going to hold all the cards here and you're going to pull out every single card except for that bottom card just like this and that bottom card is going to stay in your hand here as you tap the deck here, you're just gonna kind of square up everything, and then it looks like they freely stopped at the King of Diamonds, but in reality, you just force the bottom card on them. So we're gonna go through that one last time. So the card is on the bottom here. I'm gonna bevel the cards out, and you're gonna push the card to the right. Now you're gonna riffle down. They can call out stop whenever they want to. Let's say they say stop right over there. You're gonna take all the cards, and you're actually gonna leave that bottom card in this hand, and then if you tap the cards here, you can square up all the cards, and now you can freely show that this card was a freely chosen card, but in reality, it was actually a force card. So that's basically the tutorial for that force, and now for the final card force. All right, guys, so here's the performance for the third and final force of the video. So once again, I'm gonna try and force the king of diamonds on you guys. So I have a little helper here, which is the ace of spades. We're actually gonna have you hold on to the ace of spades, and you guys can go ahead and place the ace of spades face up wherever you want to in the packs, so let's say right about there. So look, you could have stopped here at the Ten of Diamonds, but you stop right here at none other than the King of Diamonds, just like this. So that is the card force, and now for the tutorial. So for this card force, once again, you have to actually place your card, the King of Diamonds, on top of the deck, and you actually have to get out another card to help you. So I'm just gonna get out the Ace of Spades because that's like a nice helper card. You guys can use a Joker or whatever card you guys want to use. This card here, the helper card, is being held by the spectator. So they are holding onto the helper card, and what you're gonna do, you're just gonna cut the deck, but you're gonna maintain a break so that you know where that card is. So you're just gonna cut the deck, but keep maintaining a break so that you know where that card is. It's right there. So now what's gonna happen is this. You're gonna hold that break, and 
you're going to riffle down the deck slowly, almost like you're doing a riffle force, but instead of like stopping where the spectator wants to, you're actually going to have them place the helper card face up anywhere they want to. Now here's the thing, if they place their helper card below the pinky break, if they place it like way down here, then this force will not work. They have to place the helper card above the pinky break. Anywhere here is fine, but down here, force is not gonna work. So they have to place the card anywhere above this pinky break here. If they place it anywhere here, the force will work perfectly fine. In order to make sure this is 100%, all you have to do is just riffle very, very slow. So just riffle very, very slowly through the top half of the deck, and they will place the card in somewhere within the top half, just like this. So let's say they place it in there. Now what you're gonna do is kind of take the card and kind of turn it towards the left, and you're gonna take your thumb and kind of hold it on that card. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the top half of the deck, the top half above the pinky break. You're gonna hold it, and your thumb's gonna clamp down on the helper card. You're gonna take the helper card and you're gonna hold it down as you slide the entire top half out just like this and you're gonna slide everything out boom just like that as you turn your wrist so you have to slide it out as you turn your wrist so you're gonna go boom like that and you're gonna say now you could have stopped here at the ten of hearts but you stopped right here and now it looks like the ace of spades was always on top of this card but in reality you just actually changed the place where the ace was so now it looks like the ace was here the whole time but you've actually just forced the king of diamonds on them so I'll go through that one last time so the specter is holding onto the helper card you just cut the cards into the middle but you're gonna maintain a break now just go very very slow so that they place the card somewhere within the top half of the deck let's say right about there so they're gonna place it in you're gonna turn it towards the left just like this place your thumb on it you're gonna take all the cards above the break and you're gonna slide them out as you turn your wrist over saying that they could have stopped here at the queen of clubs but they stopped here and just set the card down and show that they stopped at the force card just like that that is basically all three forces i really hope you guys like this video i really hope you guys use these forces in your everyday card magic and see you guys next time bye, bye.